So you think you know Maryland, or maybe the reason you wanted to see this video is because you don't know Maryland enough. In either case, let's talk about some facts that I'm pretty sure you didn't know about Maryland. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your first time to my channel and you want to know everything about working, eating, sleeping, living, playing, and many other things here in Maryland, Washington, DC, then make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Click the little bell so you're notified every single time we do a video. And if you're thinking about moving, relocating, or coming here to stay, then make sure to give me a call, shoot me an email, or send me a text. Today, we're gonna learn more about Maryland. But first, let's take a look at Maryland's history. Maryland's capital city is Annapolis, and its most populated city is Baltimore. The Maryland was named after Queen Henry Maria of England, whose husband George Calvert founded the colony but died before it was even settled, leaving his son Cecil to carry on. So Cecil wished to provide a safe haven for Roman Catholics from England. Now, let's take a look at what Maryland has to offer. Number nine, great white sharks in Maryland. Maryland is not well known for its sharks, although they are reasonably normal occurrence in the Chesapeake Bay. Sharks of all shapes and sizes, including bonehead shark, tiger sharks, hammerhead shark, sharks and even great white sharks named Mary Lee. Each of these species has been observed in Maryland waters. Number eight, Baltimore Colts. Maryland was not historically associated with the Baltimore Raven. Indeed, Maryland became famous for the Baltimore Colts in 1953. This lasted until the early morning of March 29, 1984, when the Colts announced their intended relocation to Indianapolis unexpectedly and without warning. Many Baltimore locals have a deep dislike for the Colts as a result of this insult. Number seven, wild horses on Assateague Island. Perhaps the most renowned Maryland island is Assateague, which has been the home to herds of wild ponies for hundreds of years, eating dun grass and drinking pond water. Assateague Island in Ocean City, Maryland, is home to about 300 free roaming wild horses. According to the legend, they landed on the island after Spanish cargo ships sunk off the island's east coast and the horses swam to shore. Number six, Maryland's shape. Maryland was originally formed like this. Then, in 1789, Maryland and Virginia combined to contribute 100 square miles of territory to establish Washington, D.C. Virginia reclaimed its granted property in 1846, leaving Washington, D.C. in its current shape. Number five, Maryland's flag. Maryland's flag is based on Lord Baltimore's family line. The black and gold pattern of the flag is a covered line coat of arms, while the red and why the sign is a crossland line coat of arms, which is Lord Baltimore's mother's side. Number four, Maryland State Anthem. The song, which is sung to the tune of O Tannenbaum, was composed by a Confederate sympathizer during the Civic War, and it's essentially one long bitter rant against Abraham Lincoln and the North. There's no room for misinterpretation here. The lyrics call Lincoln a tyrant and the Union Northern scum, and there's no arguing that it was just picked at a bad time. Maryland Maryland by Maryland wasn't named the state song until 1939. Number three, the Old Line State. At the American Revolution, Maryland gained the nickname the Old Line State during the Battle of Long Island. Maryland Line successfully held off the advancements of the British long enough for George Washington and the Continental Army to retreat during the first major battle of the war. Number two, Chesapeake Bay Scallop. Maryland is well known for its blue crabs, but the state also has a flourishing oyster economy. And Maryland did, however, formerly have a thriving scallop business. In 1930, a storm hit Maryland, destroying most of the scallops' habitat in the Chesapeake Bay. This, along with the development of illness, has driven the Chesapeake scallops to the verge of extinction. Today, a collaborative approach is underway to restore the scallops of the bay. Number one, fake Maryland crab cakes. According to a recent research, 38% of all Maryland crab cakes do not include Maryland crabs. DNA analysis of crab cakes marketed around the state revealed the presence of eight non-Maryland crab species. That concludes our list of nine facts about Maryland. Leave a comment below to let us know how many of these nine things you previously knew and how many you learned today. I hope you found all this information helpful. Thank you for watching and if there's anything you guys think I forgot to include that somebody should know before moving to Maryland, please leave it down in the comment section below this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share and subscribe and if you found it useful check out this video right here to my left that's it for now see you at the next video